what's going on there. Okay, but yeah, we're using the view did load function and we need to do, this is a new thing, it's called an NS array. Uh, now an array is like, it contains multiple objects or multiple variables. And for this example, we're gonna, it's gonna contain all the images in the animation cycle. And this has an init called init with array of, or init with objects is what we want. All right, great. And then it's asking for the first object. So I'm gonna, so the first object is gonna be a UI image, image view, oh, I'm sorry, just UI image, and then the image named, and we need to get the name of our images. So I named mine image one, image two, all the way to eight. And that's what we need to put in here. So at sign, image one, dot gif and comma you need this comma right here guys and girls now we're gonna do this eight times copy paste three four five six seven eight and now we need to change these numbers two three four five six seven eight that's why it's important you name them simply so you don't have to so that doesn't uh, slow you down uh, then we need to put nil at the end which signifies to this array like hey you're done I have all the objects in my array and the semicolon so now we've populated that array with the images from Sonic and now we need to let's give Sonic a frame it's because he's uh, we, we want to go ahead and set the size and location of him uh, CG rect make and I'm gonna we're gonna set him at 0x 0y and we'll make his frame 100 pixels by 100 pixels you can change this if you want to change the dimensions of Sonic now next we need to say we want to animate these image what and it's asking us what images are we animating so we want to animate the the images in image array Maybe we should have called that something else instead of image. It should maybe it should be image array, but it's called image. Uh, Sonic, and last, I want to set the animation duration. For now, I'm going to set it 0 0.25. So it's going to go every quarter of a second. It's going to do one, two, three, four. If it was one second, it would be one, two, three image four, image five, image six, it's playing all the images in the array. And when it gets to the end, it's going to go back to the start. But, and then last, Sonic animation and repeat count. Uh, we want to do zero, which means it'll animate forever. It'll animate in an infinite loop. If you say like 25, it'll go 25 times, 100, 100 times. But zero is special because it'll animate forever. And last, Sonic. One thing, guys, when, whenever I do like this, like when you do, when I put the square brackets around this, it's actually, it's calling a function. In Objective-C, you have to put square brackets when you, when you uh, call a method or a function of Sonic. So Sonic is a UI image view and it has a function called start animate, which tells it to animate these, the, the images in the, the animation images array. All right, so at this point, it, it'll, uh, it'll animate as long as everything is right. Let's build and run. I don't see any errors. Do we have errors? No. Oh no, it's doing it on my iPhone. I need to do it on the simulator so you guys can see it. Okay, here it comes. And there he goes. There's Sonic the Hedgehog. And he's running. But he's running at, tw well, he's running four times a second. But, and uh, we have our slider here, but it's not doing anything. So we're gonna have this slider control the speed of his animation. And we need to add a new, f new function. Actually, in fact, we need to go, we need to add a, uh, in the header file, if you guys can go to the header file, 
we need to add an IB outlet for that slider. So let's do void, uh, and we will call this slider change. ID and sender. So sender, in, in this example, sender will be the slider. Sender represents the object that is sending the event. Um, and just go to uh, Interface Builder and link up this IB action. Oh, did I do that right? IB slider. We didn't call it an IB action. Hey, it's right there. Hmm, that's strange. We didn't call it an IB action. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and do that. And and for this one, we have to click on value changed because we're we want it to to call the function when the value is changed. So value changed. Okay. Now I don't think this will work because it's it's not an IB action. Okay. So this is the function we want to write. Uh, slider change. And the bit of code is going to be my label dot text. We want to put the, the value of the slider into our label. String with format. What is it? And it's going to be slider value equals. And we learned this in class. The percent means we're introducing a function. And for this one, we'll do percent. And I'm going to put 1.2 in here and then F. Now, we didn't talk about this yet, but the, the, the 1 means um, one, one space in front of the decimal point and then two spaces in, after the decimal point. This will format the, the output of the number so it only has two decimal points instead of showing like 5 or 16. Well, we're going to touch on that again in class. And this is important. Slider value. This is the number of the slider that's going to be printing out. Okay. All right. Then the final two lines are Sonic animation duration equals. And here's the thing we're doing: slider and value. So we're we're inserting the slider value into the animation duration. So it's going to speed up or slow down that animation based on that value. Uh, and last, we need to restart the Sonic Sonic uh, start animation. Because I, I think when you reset the duration, it, it stops it. So we have to start it up again. OK, the build and run. Hopefully it works. Looks like it did. And I do this, and now Sonic is animating slowly. But if we turn him up here, he'll animate really fast. Now he's slow. So now he's gone one second, one and a half seconds, two seconds for any animation cycle. But if you put him down here, he's animating really fast. And that's how to do a uh, animate uh, an image sequence in uh, Xcode, the iPhone.